Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an overview on this Zotac Mini ITX motherboard. This is an H67 chipset motherboard for second generation Sandy Bridge processors from Intel. The model number is H67ITX-C-E. So let's start right off with an unboxing and see what sort of accessories are included. You get for starters four yellow serial ATA cables. You get a couple Wi-Fi antennas because it does have Wi-Fi built in. You get an input-output shield for the back of your case. You get a USB 3.0 PCI bracket with an internal 20-pin USB 3.0 header. You get an adapter here for DVI to analog VGA. You get an extender for your uh, ATX 12 volt CPU supplemental power plug. So if your power supply does not have a long enough cable, you can use this to extend it in order to reach the motherboard. Finally, you get a Zotac quick installation guide in black and white. Also the Zotac user's manual. And of course, the all important motherboard installation driver disc. Uh, you should head over to the Zotac website to see if they have updated versions of this, but keep that on hand for your build. Finally, the motherboard itself. And now let's take a close up look at the motherboard itself. It is mini ITX, as you can probably tell, very, very small form factor for this motherboard. Uh, let's start down here on the bottom right and go over the ports and headers. First off, you have your uh, front panel case headers right there for power reset LEDs, that sort of thing. Right above that is a four pin PWM case fan plug. Uh, nice to have it be four pin because you're probably gonna be using this for a home theater PC or a small one that you wanna keep quiet. So give you some extra control over the fan with that. You have a 24 pin uh, motherboard main power connector. Above that is a comm header. Next to that is your memory slots and this supports DDR3 DIMMs and it supports dual channel uh, speeds of 1066 to 1333 mega transfers per second. Next to that right here you have your Wi-Fi card and it's plugged into a mini PCIe slot. These little cables here route over to the back uh, where your uh, input outputs are and that's where you can add your antennas. That is 802.11N compatible uh, for high speed wireless transfers. Uh, next to that, you have another four pin PWM fan controller. Next to that, you have your six serial ATA ports. These are all controlled by the H67 chipset. The four red ones here are serial ATA revision two, three gigabit per second ports, and the two blue ones are serial ATA revision three, six gigabit per second ports. Right under that Zotac heatsink, again, is the H67 chipset. And then below that here, you have your socket 1155 CPU socket. That is for Intel second generation Sandy Bridge processors, Core i3, i5, and i7s. And uh, those do have an integrated GPU, uh, which enables all of the uh, video outs on the side of the board, which we'll get to in just a second. But moving right along, down here in the bottom left, you have your four pin uh, supplemental CPU power connector. Uh, right above, I'm sorry, right next to that, squeezed in right there is your front panel audio ports for HD audio. Uh, that will enable your mic and keyboard ports uh, on the front of your case. Uh, let's go up to the top here where you can see we do have USB 3.0 enabled on this board. There is a front panel header right there, 20 pin USB 3.0 header, and then next to that, two USB 2.0 headers. So two USB 3.0 from that header, and then four USB 2.0s from that header. Along with that, we have some built-in ports on the back of the board. So here's your input outputs. Starting over here, two more USB 3.0 ports, a PS2 port for a mouse or a keyboard, and then here you have your display outputs, and that once again will be enabled by, or will be uh, controlled by your uh, Intel second generation Sandy Bridge processor. H67 chipset does allow for overclocking of the integrated GPU. You have a display port plug right there, and that can support maximum resolution of 2560 by 1600. Uh, right below that is an HDMI port, and that can do up to 1920 by 1200. You also have a uh, digital DVI port right there. These, once again, are for your uh, Wi-Fi antennas that were included in the box. Down here, you have an additional eSATA port, and that is serial to your Vision 2, 3 gigabit port. You have four USB 2.0 ports right there, the black ones. You have gigabit Ethernet. And finally, you have your audio outputs, and this supports eight-channel high-definition audio, but also has an optical. SPDIF output port for a Toslink cable, uh, so plenty of audio options 
uh, supports sample rates of 192K, 96K, 48K, and 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, so plenty of audio options. So great here for, uh, especially for a home theater PC, because you're probably going to want to connect to a high definition audio receiver. And lest I forget, and thanks to cameraman Danny for reminding me, we have this orange port right here, which is a 16 speed PCI Express port. So not only do you have the video capabilities of your Sandy Bridge processor, but if you want to say upgrade this to a gaming machine, you can plug in a PCI Express video card right there. Uh, support 16 speed. Uh, if you don't want to do a video card, you could also drop in something like a TV tuner right there, but uh, that is the last feature we wanted to point out for this board. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Zotac H67ITX Wi-Fi motherboard. Uh, once again, the model number is H67ITX-C-E. It features the mini ITX form factor, the H67 chipset, and the 1155 socket for Intel second generation Sandy Bridge processors. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.